If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, uh, let us take a problem on this uh, percentage bias uh, differential protection of three phase transformer. So, this problem I have taken, you can see this problem there is a three phase transformer uh, which is a 220 kV by 11 kV. 220 primary side 11 kV on secondary side is connected in start to delta the protected transformer CT on the 220 kV side have a current ratio 600 is to 5 they have given this side current ratio they have given 600 into 5 is to 5 what should be the ratio of the 11 kV side what is the ratio n is to 1 this one we need to find to implement the implementation of differential protection for implementation for implementation of differential protection scheme differential protection scheme so we make these necessary corrections ok so it is start to delta now first before proceeding the questions uh, let us draw the connections once again once you know connections then numerical becomes very easy to you now one thing before going to this let us discuss about this ratio a little bit what is this this is 220 by 11 220 by 11 kV so you can think it is 20 is to 1 is it turn ratio no it is not turn ratio it is between the line voltage and the line voltage here line voltage is 220 kV here line voltage is 11 kV that doesn't mean 20 is to 1 is the winding ratio winding ratio means if it if I say 20 is to 1 means this side 1 winding this side 1 turn this side 20 turn is it like this in this transformer no it is not like this this ratio is between line voltage and line voltage so you come to the phase now this voltage is the phase voltage between these two volt ratio if i take the ratio between this phase voltage and this voltage voltage that is your turn ratio so here it is 20 is this side that is 220 you can think so per phase it will be 220 by root 3 and here because it is delta so it is 11 so it is per phase is also 11 so it is actually 20 by root 3 that is 220 by root 3 is to 11 so it is turn ratio is 220 by root 3 that is the turn ratio that means if this side one turn is there this side it is 20 by root 3 not 20 I am again stressing on this one 20 is to 1 is the ratio between the line voltages not the turn ratio 20 is to 1 is the ratio between the line voltages or you can say between line current also 1 is to 20 if 20 is to 1 is the voltage ratio then line current ratio will be 1 is to 20 and turn ratio is 20 by root 3 ok once we know this one now if I draw that this one uh, this is star connection this windings you have already seen in the last class so we connect it in such a way so that A and C are connected here where is C? C is in between you can see C is here so whenever A and C are connected that is taken as a, a terminal so you see C is connected here so A and C are connected here so this is your A terminal ok now you can see this C is connected to A so it becomes A terminal first terminal now what is second terminal this B is connected to C so this becomes C terminal or CT secondary and this is A and B are connected so this becomes your B terminal so once you take out all this line you mark what is the current in this line accordingly we will connect that one so we have taken current to be out of this so we have taken if dot is entering here so current is out here so I have given dash to indicate that it is not actually IA because there is a turn ratio so IA will be divided by this ratio then this current will come IA dash now what is the current in the pilot wire pilot wire is the this wire this is known as pilot wire what is the current here it is coming you can see the current here is IA minus IC this is IC is flowing in this direction and IA is coming from this so this current is if you take KCL this is IA minus IC normal delta connection A terminal is always A between between A and C you can refer to delta connections so you take only one then we will connect it this is your IA dash minus IC dash similarly you can calculate other two three currents also now this current should enter in that so this current is coming from this side so it should enter there okay suppose this is IA minus IB coming so IA minus IB should enter there okay now come to this side now because I have taken this current as IA this current as IC this current as IB so this is my IA what will be IA how much IA into turn ratio because phase to phase I am going so what is turn ratio 20 is to root 3 so it is 20 is to root 3 is to 1 20 by root 3 is to 1 but for current it will be 1 is to 20 by root 3 it will be reversed that's why it is multiplied 
Similarly, IC current is also multiplied, IV current is also, also multiplied. Now you see IA is going this side, IC is going this side. So this current will be IA minus IC. So delta I always say, delta A terminal will be always IA minus IC. B terminal will be IB minus IA. C terminal will be IC minus IB. These are fixed for delta standard. So if you see here, so now you see this current is IA minus IC. This is your A terminal. This is your C terminal and this is your B terminal. So this is IB minus IA, this you can see, this is IC minus IB, you can see. Everything is multiplied by 20 by root 3 because there is a factor of 20 by root 3 by which it is magnified. Okay, now what is this CT sensing? CT will be sensing this current, that is IA minus IC, okay. Now this current, because IA minus IC is, you can see IA minus IC was coming from that side, so it should enter here. Because this CT has two terminals, now let me, IA minus IC is coming from that side, it is in the lower portion. Some of the third one, the third line you can see. So third line what is coming here? IA minus IC. So it should enter here IA minus IC. Because this is sensing IA minus IC, this city is sensing IA minus IC. So it should enter and it should connect it in star means all the one terminal will be shorted another terminal. So through one terminal current should come. Because current is coming, it should enter through this terminal. So how you will put your dot? If, I, if, you, if you put your dot this side, that means current is entering. So you should put this side, so current should leap from that side. You can see here, if I put dot here, if I put dot here, it is entering. So another dot should be here. What can be other option of dot? You can put, you could have put dot here. So current is leaving this dot in the primary. So then correspondingly current should be dotted should be here. So it should enter. So this combination is also possible. Without, if you don't give this, then this is also correct. Anyway, you can give dot convention, your current should enter, that's it. So once you have drawn all these things, similarly your other things has been done. And uh, finally, these are your, this is normal uh, percentage based differential protection, this. And there is a operating coil, similarly same, these are restraining coil. All three are not connected. Let me make it more clear. This is going this way, then this, then this, then this is grounded. This is the first connection. Similarly, third one, there is no interlink between these two. And then there will be operating code. Second one, I am not drawing, you can draw it. Here it is done, but with a light shade because we will modify it in little bit later. Okay. Now there are two side CT. So I have se se segregated two sides. This is my 220 KB side, this is my 11 KB side. In both sides, we have CT. In both the CT, we have primary, secondary. Here also we have CT, here also we have CT. Here also we have primary, secondary, here also we have primary, secondary. CT is primary, CT is secondary. CT is primary, CT is secondary. Okay. Now what is the line current? First you think what is the line current? Because CT will be measuring this current. Your first job is to calculate this current. What is this current and what is this current? Because this is the initial current that the CT will sense. Because you put CT on it. Okay, let me calculate that current. So here we have assumed it. Normally we will not assume it. Normally some MBA will be given to you. And from that MBA you divide by voltage, you will get the line current. And then you give 20%, 30% overload. Suppose 100 ampere you come, so you assume 120 ampere will flow overload. 20% is a safety margin. Then you select your CT ratio. If it is 120 by 1, then you can select from market 150 is to 1, 200 is to 1, whatever. But here as they have given 600 to 5. So you have assumed this current is 600. Any current you can take. Ratio will be same. Okay. That lead this current is 600. Because they are wanting only ratio, not the actual uh, over current. They have not given the MBA to calculate. Okay. So we have assumed the current should be 600 ampere. So what will be my CT primary current? The CT that is sensing, I always told you, what is its primary connection? Primary we always assume to be star. And what is secondary? Secondary was it is delta. Because this is star connected, this is delta connected. So what is the CT here? CT primary is here again star. Primary will never change. Secondary will be, because it is delta, it will be star. So you think. So as your line current, whatever the line current, your primary current will be always the same current. So your primary current is 600 ampere. You don't think about line or phase because your primary is always star connected. Secondary is delta connected. So whatever the primary connected, that will be your line current, that will be your phase current. Everything is that current only. You don't think about that. Now come to city secondary current. This side CT is secondary phase current. What will be? It will be divided by the ratio because the there is always relation between the phase currents. So here primary phase current, line current is same. 
So here what will be the phase current? It will be 5 ampere. This current I am talking about. Suppose this is 600. Then what is the current is flowing through this? This only. I am not talking about this. This is not I am talking. Not the pilot wire. This phase current passing through this city. So if it is 600, then it should be 5, 5 ampere. So this is 5 ampere. Now what will be city secondary line current? City secondary line current. City secondary line current will be because it is connected in delta city secondary. Your phase is 5. So line current will be 5 root 3. Okay. So here come to this side now. What is the this side line current? This side line current you can directly multiply 600 into 20. That will also give you 12,000. But I have shown you to indicate to, uh, because I have described it that way. So this is n into i a. So this is n into i a minus i c. So you should think that way also. That is also. So it is 600. What is the turn ratio? 20 by root 3. And because it is i a minus i c, that is means line current. So it should be multiplied by root 3. Because this is phase. This 600 into 600 into uh, this is i a 600. 600 into 20 by root 3 is the phase current. Because you are calculating line current, because it is delta, so it should be multiplied by root 3. Or you can directly multiply also, because it, this side line current is 600, so line to line ratio is 20. So you can directly multiply it by 20, it will give you 12,000. So this becomes your city primary current. What will be city secondary current? We don't know the ratio, so we divide by ratio. What will be the city secondary? This is phase current. I am talking about this current, what city is sensing, this current. Now what is phase? This is my phase current. So what is the line current? That is current coming through pilot wire. The same current is coming through pilot wire because it is star connected. So it is. So this current remains 12,000 by n. Now what is my, uh, what was my intention in percentage by differential relay? For normal condition, your this side current and this side current should remain same. Uh, sorry, this side current. This is city secondary current. So for normal condition, this and this should be same. So this and this is equal. So if you make them equal, the ratio is this one. The value of n is this one. So what is the ratio? The ratio is this one. One three. This is CT ratio. CT ratio means, one second, I want to say, tell you one more thing. There is a CT ratio 600 by 5. What does this mean? This doesn't mean turn ratio. CT ratio means current ratio. If it is 600, then 5. So what is turn ratio? Turn ratio is 5 into 6. 5 is to 600. This is turn ratio of the transformer. But in terms of CT, it is always mentioned in current ratio. That's why 600 is to 5. That doesn't mean primary has 600 turn, secondary has 5 turn. No, no. Primary will not, it will be 5, 5, 5, 5 is to 600. More clearly, it is 1 is to 120. That means primary is 1 turn, secondary is 120 turn. Primary will be always 1 because it is single wire. So that means here, whatever the CT ratio you got, that is, this is the CT ratio. That means primary winding is 1, okay. Secondary winding is 1385 because this is reverse. This is city ratio means current ratio. Turn ratio is reverse. So how can you make one? Th this is okay. Uh, if you solve this much, that will be you will get marks. This is okay. But if you physically implement it, let's think about it. Because your primary winding is one, secondary winding, how you will make it 1385.68 winding? How you will make 0.6 cent of winding? So it becomes impractical in field. So a rather alternate approach is taken. What is the alternate approach? Alternate approach because this side city ratio is already given to you. If it is not given, we will collect. How we will select the city ratio? And one more thing, this ratio, because this city you will be buying from market. So market, they are having standard city ratio. 100 is to 1, 200 is to 1, 400 is to 1, 600 is to 1. So in market, you will not get a, there will be no one who will give you a single city. So how many cities you have to manufacture? So you need city of, you go market, you need city, I need city of 1385.68 is to 1. So you will not get it. Because in market there are standard cities are here. So that's why it becomes physically impractical. So here, so what is the alternate approach? So you again calculate in both sides. This side they have given 600 is to 5. Let us assume this is standard. If this is not given, then we will calculate, generally we calculate for MBA. From MBA, what is the current in this side? And from that current, suppose the current is uh, 450. So we choose from market 450 may not be available in the market. So it is 600. So you choose 600 is to 1 or 600 is to 5, whatever. So as they have chosen 600, let us stick to that one. This side is fixed, 600. So again, this is fixed, 5 ampere. This current will be 5 root 3. This side is okay. 
now come to this side again line current is 12,000 that is also okay city primary current is 12,000 okay now let us take a city ratio suppose this is available in the market 12,000 is to 5 12,000 is to 5 so let's say it is available in the market if it is not available you can take 2,000 is to 5 also there is no harm I have taken for simplicity only 12,000 whatever available you do same way just replace the value it will come so what will be your city secondary current it will be 5 ampere so because it is phase current is 5 ampere line current will be also 5 because this side it is star so now no, for normal operation what is your intention this two current should be equal this current and this current should be equal to make these two equal we connect an interposing city which is known as auto transfer this is nothing but auto transfer you recall auto transfer single turn you can change this winding here and there and you can fine tune the voltage it's like a regulator you can think of it is not regulator so you can adjust the voltage very smoothly there or current whatever the wind you can easily smooth it is on single winding so that's it we are we are we will be connecting an auto transformer of the ratio of this ratio that is root 3 is to 1 is connected in the which side you will connect you will connect in this side because this side current is more so you want to reduce it to this level so you will connect a interposing transformer of this ratio so you remember now which side you will connect this side where it is current is higher we want to reduce it to 5 ampere because this current is high so if i if i put this current put this city ratio root 3 is to 1 in this side so what will be my this current this was 5 root 3 because it root 3 is to 1 so current you will get divided by root 3 so you will get 5 ampere this side is already 5 so both will be equal and how does it look like in connection in connection it will look like this you can see this side is coming then it is an auto transformer i am drawing one one phase i am drawing clearly this side is coming and we have given auto transformer this is grounded and from somewhere you have tapped it and then and then this is your restraint this is for one all three are connected here because i am showing i have no other options to show all three because i am there is only one option i am showing that's why for one phase i am showing so this is an auto transfer you can change this position very smoothly so you can change it nicely to that required level so that both are equal you can see this is your restraining coil this is your operating coil so this one is for first you can see in the drawing this is for the first phase this is for the second one and this is for the third one okay with this we have concluded the numerical portion of that differential protection we will continue with the different other aspects of transformer protection if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section